What is going on, guys and gals? Uh, today, I'm going to throw out a dialogue tutorial on combat dialogue. So, I did this with Gellis in Skyrim Shroud of Secrets. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up her combat dialogue and show you how that was done. How you can add dialogue to a follower or somebody else if you want to. And how it works. Uh, so, in combat, we're going to open up whatever quest you're doing. And this was follower dialogue quest. You're going to go to the combat tab. Now, in here, you have a, you're have you going to have a list of many different things. I already have some. You can see I have bleed out, taunt, attack, hit, and accept yield. If you click on new topic, you have all these different types that you could still add. Stuff they'll say when they block, stuff like this. So what this is going to work, we're going to go to taunt and attack is the two I'm going to concentrate on today. Taunt is basically when... You know, you see a bandit standing back and it'll say something to you, waiting for you to come at it during a fight or right before they attack again, they need to catch their breath, whatever is going on. So you can add a lot of interesting taunts in here. So if we open up this one here, this one is for a werewolf. So, so I'm going to kill you werewolf and skin your fucking hide. So the first condition is going to be subject, get ID, make sure she's not targeting the player or the player isn't the one that's going to try to say this because you can make it so the player says it in combat and we set this to zero the next one is the werewolf faction now this is where it gets important the werewolf faction you're going to want as one but you're going to, want to open it up down here on run on run on combat target so that means it's not going to be the player and then the subject that's going to be saying it is gellis that's at one and get in faction the companions faction what that's saying is actually i have that on subject what that should be on is combat target so we make sure that the combat target is not the companions. We make sure that when she's fighting a werewolf, that the, when she is going after a werewolf, that is her combat target. So she'll say once every two hours, and there's a chance with the other stuff coming, because it is set to random, so this randomly pulls, it'll say this to, when fighting a werewolf. You can make this go with anything. Uh, like, if you look at this one here, you're fucking with the wrong woman troll. And I've heard her say this in game. And I am going to go in game and sh get her into combat so you can hear a couple of these things. Same thing. I always put in this player one. That's just to make sure, even though it says voice here and this here, you'd be surprised how bad this engine can screw up. So I always put this as a backup. The get his ID player zero. Combat target is going to be the troll. And this is when she's fighting the combat target. And then that's her name. That's very simple. And she can say it every two hours. And you can change all this around. Uh, I'm going to skin the fucking mod. I'm sure you can. Like I said, she's foul mouth. This is goes on wolf race. Same thing. Everything's the same principle. Uh, so you can change this like, okay, so she's fighting an orc. Same thing. All it is is get it, uh, combat target, get his race, orc race. And so any orc, there's a chance when she's fighting an orc that she can say, you know, I'm going to cut off your fucking head orc. This is a really small tutorial, but it's something to teach you in different ways to say things. Uh, this one here is when she's fighting a dragon. Now, there's another condition you could add, which I had one in here, and I, I don't know why I released it, and it was get is flying, I think is the condition. Let's look real quick. Uh, yeah, get is flying. So if you had get is flying is one, she'll only say this, when the dragon's flying. So I had had a dialogue line in here for a while, but I removed it, and it says, Duck, you're going to get hit by the dragon's balls. It's flying too close. So that meant that if the dragon was flying would be the only time she said it when she's in combat. So this is kind of stuff you can screw around with to make, if you're making a follower or another NPC that's around when they attack something to make it more general, not generalized, but more specific. Uh, the other thing I want to show you is in attacks. Now, this is when she's actually attacking during the attack. This is like right here. I'm going to cut out your fucking tongue. Now, this is going to bandit. All, all the stuff's the same stuff. Zero on the player. Get his ID is Gellis. And I don't have... I could add someone. If I only wanted her to say this during... While she's a follower, I could put get in faction. And then you could go uh, current follower faction. Right? And leave that as one. And so now, the only time she would use this dialogue is if she is my follower. I don't have it set to that because most of the time you don't see her fighting or another 
companion fighting or follower. You don't see them in combat when they're not there. Now, why is that here? Oh, okay. This one I added, and I'm actually testing this right now. So what this one is, is even though this is under attack, this isn't for Gallus. This is for the bandit. So I've made Gallus... A lot of NPCs seem to know her in the game. So what happens with this one is when the bandit is attacking Gellis, so this one, the subject, is actually the bandit faction. Gellis is the combat target from the bandit faction. And if they have female Nord voice or the even tone voice for females, there's a chance once an hour they'll say, and I would change that, but I'm testing it right now, time for you to die, Gellis. So it's almost like the bandits had met her before and knew her. This is just to add some stuff into your game if you're creating a follower and NPC that can really change the feel of the game. Like, okay, this isn't just some random person that appeared and is going to disappear and never be remembered. You remember different things. Uh, we'll go down to hit real quick. And I'll look at, this is when Gellis actually gets hit. So in this one here, you'll hear her say, and that's all you needed was her name because it's in this section. So in, under combat and under hit, you can see it in parentheses, which part I'm in, which again, you get from here. You can see it up in the subtype. You create new, and then you choose it out of here. I can't choose hit again, because it's already in there. So in here, you better hit me harder than that. Will happen once an hour when she's get hit. And it's still randomized, because you can see I have the random check. This one, that just pissed me off. And come on, bitch, you can't hurt me. All this different stuff happens when she gets hit, okay? So I'm going to go in to the game right now so you can listen to her fight and hear some of the stuff she says. I just wanted to throw this out here real quick to help you guys with some conditions for a follower, if you're making one, or any other NPC, to make the fighting scene, scenes seem more genuine, all right? For that hurt, you motherfucker. Gonna fuck your corpse. Like good enough, Again? Fine. Hit me like you fucking mean it. Fuck. I'll drink your fucking blood. Mercy. That was a good fight. So as you can see, you can change how, many, how often she says it. So put the time up to two or three hours so they don't repeat stuff. I think I gotta fix one, but hopefully this helped you guys out in pursuing forward. I'm gonna try to do a few more dialogue ones today, just real quick ones For of how to while the moot put custom the to the dialogue in. This Have a good well day, guys. Until the death of King Borgast.